In this section, guys, we will talk about the branches of the internal iliac artery. The uh, the organs present in the pelvis and the perineum, they are all supplied by the branches of the internal iliac artery. So, as we talked about the branches of the iota, and we know that at the lower border of L4, the iota divides into the common iliac artery. And then common iliac artery at the lower border of L5, it again divides into external iliac and internal iliac. So, let me go with that. Uh, if this is the vertebral column here again, And this here is the L5, L4, L3 and L2 and let's say this here is the sacrum bone. Just putting it very schematically here and that is a coccygeal vertebrae. As we know the extension of the iota, we already said it is till the lower border of L4. From the lower border of T4 to the lower border of L4. And it is on the left. So I'm just keeping it here. This is the extending till the lower border of L4. That's the descending iota coming in till there. And at the lower border of L4, it divides into the common iliac artery. That is the right and the left common iliac artery. So here is the iota. This is common iliac artery. And let's say we are looking at only one side. That is the left side common iliac artery. The common iliac artery then divides into internal iliac and external iliac. So let's say if this here is the external iliac. And one is the internal iliac. So schematic diagram, that's, that's not how they are present exactly. But just a schema here. So let us say this is the external iliac artery. The external iliac artery is the one which will continue as the femoral artery deep to the inguinal ligament then it continues as the femoral artery. Our focus right now is at this internal iliac artery. That is our main concern right now that is the internal iliac artery. Well internal iliac artery once it reaches the level of the greater sciatic notch. I'm not saying it is coming out of greater sciatic notch. Once it reaches the level of the greater sciatic notch, let's say, just schematically I'm putting again, if this is the level of the greater sciatic notch, so at that level, this internal iliac artery divides into a smaller posterior and this huge anterior division. Let me write PD and AD. This is PD posterior division. And that is anterior division. So now the internal iliac artery divides into the posterior and the anterior division. Posterior division gives off the three main type of branches, which you can remember with the sill S I L. The sill branches S I L S is for the superior gluteal artery. It gives off superior gluteal artery. It gives off Ilio lumbar artery and it also gives off the lateral sacral artery which are two in number on each side that is lateral sacral artery so usually the arteries which are supplying the wall if you see the branches in the posterior division they are mainly to supply the wall so we have superior gluteal artery ilio lumbar artery and lateral sacral artery these are the branches from posterior division it's the anterior division which mainly gives off the visceral branches and there are many if you see the branches coming from the anterior division, now we have this artery called as superior vesicular artery. We'll tell you more about it in a minute. That is superior vesicular artery. And there is this inferior vesicular artery. Superior vesicular, inferior vesicular artery. As the name suggests, vesicular artery, they'll supply the bladder. That's why we call them vesicular artery. But please remember that inferior vesicular artery is present only in males. Inferior vesicular artery is present only in males. In females, we do not have inferior vesicular artery, but to compensate the absence of inferior vesicular artery, to supply the base of the bladder, the artery there will be the vaginal artery. The vaginal artery will compensate the absence. So vaginal artery in female basically is a compensatory branch 
for the inferior vesicular artery. Remember this point. I'll tell you more about these arteries, what else they supply. But as I said, inferior vesicular artery is present only in males and the function of the inferior vesicular artery in female is done by the vaginal artery. Well, what other branches we have from this anterior division? We got uterine artery. The uterine artery from female in female, it is also coming from this anterior division. Middle rectal artery. If you remember, we said rectum is supplied by the three different rectal arteries, superior rectal, middle rectal, inferior rectal, out of which superior rectal was the continuation of inferior mesenteric. Middle rectal, as you can see, it is coming from the anterior division of internal iliac and inferior rectal is a branch coming from internal pudendal artery. Internal pudendal artery itself is a branch coming from this anterior division only. So it gives off middle rectal artery, it gives off obturator artery, obturator artery. It also gives off the very important internal pudendal artery. Remember internal pudendal artery supplying the perineum, those pin structures going from the greater to lesser sciatic notch. One of them was the internal pudendal artery. And it also gives this inferior gluteal artery. And please note inferior gluteal artery is the largest branch of internal iliac. This is the largest branch of the internal iliac artery. So imagine so many branches are coming from this anterior division and you can see the name. They are supplying mainly the viscera. Posterior division, it can also supply the viscera but it is mainly to supply the wall. You can see the name. Look at the name guys itself. The gluteal artery, iliolumbar artery and then we have lateral sacral artery. So supplying the pelvic wall in the gluteal region. But most of the viscera in the pelvic and perineum region is supplied by the anterior division. Vesicular arteries, uterine, rectal, vaginal. So all these arteries are mainly to supply the visceral part. So this is about the branches from the anterior and posterior division. Well, this one very commonly asked question in the uh, in the in these blood vessel that which of the following is a branch of anterior division, which is not the branch of the anterior division. So usually the questions are like this. But let us talk a bit more about this superior vesicular, inferior vesicular, and this vaginal artery. Something more about these three artery from where the questions can be expected. Now for that, let us say we are looking at this uh, bladder here. This is the base of the bladder and here we have the apex let's say this is the prostate gland i'm sure you all know that from the apex of the bladder there is a ligament here going to the umbilicus and not only this we have ligament on the side as well this ligament, which is a remnant of the urecus, if you remember, that was a median and median umbilical ligament. That is a median umbilical ligament. And these one, you are looking at the side, these are the medial umbilical ligament. That is medial umbilical ligament. NL, this is L, medial umbilical ligament. There are two in number, obviously on each side. Superior vesicular artery, what we are talking here is superior vesicular artery. Yes, it supplies the bladder. No, let me just uh, put it like this only. This is a superior vesicular artery supplying the bladder. And you know, there is something common between the superior vesicular artery and this medial umbilical ligament. And the common thing is that both are the remnant of the umbilical artery. Superior vesicular artery, please note, it is the remnant of and do write it uh, here only because we still need the space to write something else. Superior vesicular artery is a remnant of proximal part of umbilical artery. It is a remnant of the proximal part of the umbilical artery. Whereas medial umbilical ligament is the remnant of distal part of the umbilical artery. That's a common thing between the two. They both are the remnant of the umbilical artery. This is the umbilical artery here. 
So the proximal part of the umbilical artery it stays as the superior vesicle. Then we have the bladder in between, and the distal part will remain as a this obliterated uh, uh, umbilical artery. That is a medial umbilical ligament will be the remnant of the distal part of the umbilical artery. Please also note that the superior vesicular artery it's not only supplying the bladder. In most of the cases, the superior vesicular artery also gives artery to ductus difference as well. That also is a question. Artery to ductus difference is derived from where? It can come from inferior vesicular also, but in most of the cases, it is coming from the superior vesicular artery. Artery to ductus difference or vas difference it is usually derived from the derived from the superior vesicular artery. Now coming to inferior vesicular artery guys, the one which we said is present only in males. Well, the significance is this inferior vesicular artery is present only in males because this artery is not only supplying the base of the bladder, it also supplies all these accessory reproductive structures also, the prostate gland, the ejaculated duct, seminal vesicle, they're all supplied by this inferior vesicular artery. So the overall supply of the inferior vesicular artery includes number one is the base of bladder. It supplies the base of bladder. It does supply the prostate gland. It supplies seminal vesicles. And this artery it may give off, not always as I said, it may give off artery to ductus difference as well. If the question is asked, ask artery to ductus difference, we said yes, the definite best answer is what? Superior vesicular, but it may sometime arise from where? From the inferior vesicular artery as well. And guys, this inferior vesicular artery also supplies the terminal ureter. Remember in the ureteric blood supply, we discussed that the branches of the internal iliac that is inferior vesicular artery supplies it. So inferior vesicular artery present in male is supplying the base of bladder. Yes, it does. But apart from it, it supplies the prostate gland, all these accessory reproductive structures, and it also supplies a terminal ureter. But we said in female, in female, the replacing branch is the vaginal artery. The vaginal artery will compensate for the absence of the inferior vesicular artery, which also gives you an idea about that what other structures will be supplied by the vaginal artery. Now, obviously, vaginal artery supplies the vaginal wall. But apart from vaginal, what, what other structures should be supplied by the vaginal artery? It is supplying the base of the bladder. It is supplying the base of the bladder and it is also supplying the terminal ureter. It is also supplying the terminal ureter. So the vaginal artery in female, the replacing branch of the inferior vesicular is taking care of the vaginal wall. Base of the bladder, if the question is asked, base of bladder in female is supplied of which artery? That could be the, the, the main question which can be asked from here. That is the inferior vesicular artery and also supplies the terminal part of the ureter. So guys, this is about the branches of the internal iliac artery. The level of uh, aortic division to what level the common iliac artery comes and divides what are the branches from anterior posterior division that is one question and especially these vesicular arteries something to be remembered and, and the important question here is also this artery to ductus difference as i said mainly it is from where from the superior vesicular artery so this is about these blood vessels the arteries which are supplying the pelvic and the perineal viscera